It's been a pretty crazy year around the NCAA. We've had a lot of upsets and a lot of surprises this season. A prime example being your guys upsetting us on one of the state earlier in the fall. Uh, what does it mean for your team to make the top eight and, and crack the bracket going into Ocala next weekend? Thanks, Aaron. I think that it's going to be a great experience for this team. I think this is probably one of the most talented teams I've coached since I've been here at SMU. And I'm really, really, really um, looking forward to seeing how they do in Ocala. So uh, for you and the team, you know, what is what are you guys looking forward to the most headed to Ocala next week? Well, the overall experience is going to be completely different than going to Waco. Baylor did a great job hosting the national championship for multiple years, but now that we're moving to a bigger venue, a bigger stage, I think that that's going to be very exciting. In addition, the stabling and the grounds for the horses that will be traveling, um, 12 of them, uh, will be will be much nicer, much more of an upgrade. So I think our girls overall really excited. Uh, what's preparation looked like for you guys over the last week or so headed into nationals? We try to keep things pretty much the same. We ride, we get a few more hours in the saddle, and there's a lot of packing and a lot of fun gear and getting the parents organized to come cheer us on and so on and so forth. So, you know, we are trying to continue doing what we're doing and just keep getting a little bit better each day. Uh, so, you know, looking back over the 2021-22 season, you know, what have what have some of the challenges for the team looked like for you guys? We well, we kind of opened the fall season with our jumping seat team captain becoming hurt and losing her, who was starting both ways on the jumping seat side, Olivia Woodson. Um, and fortunately, Madigan Epping has stepped up and offered some senior leadership to become our jumping seat captain. So that was kind of the start. We had two brand new coaches, both on Western and on jumping seat, Brad Kearns and Laura Persons. And I feel like they've really found their stride. And, and I feel like we're in a really good place. Uh, so, you know, what have you, what have you, what has your team's strengths looked like throughout the year, and how have those things helped you guys um, find the success this season leading into Nashville? Well, I think our Western team's been very dominant. Um, Coach Kearns has done a great job with them. We have some new faces in our jumping seat squad, and they're just continuing to get more and more mileage. We had um, Taylor Madden, who is – you know, was the first team All-American, Ellie Yeager, second team All-American. We had Hensley Humphreys come into the pitcher in the spring, um, and she was freshman of the year for the ECAC. So I, I see a lot of things. Nia Kearns on the horsemanship side was first team All-American along with Mallory Varell. And um, in the reigning squad, they've just been pretty solid all year. We can always count on them, and it always comes down to the reigning. You know, you get into a groove with practices throughout the season, week by week. Um, how does your preparation for nationals, how is it different than, a, than just a normal regular season preparation for you guys? I think the biggest thing is because it's a new venue and a new stage, um, making sure the girls understand like site maps and organization and where they need to be and we're going to be staying on the grounds there so I think that will help them kind of be close to the action you know potentially you know eliminate some fatigue from having to bust back and forth and all over the place to to get there um, to get to the venue so um, I think that is one thing logistics wise. The second thing is just, as I said, you know, more hours in the talk. You have a lot of patterns to remember. You have a lot of things that you need to do, but focusing on the basics on the past two weeks, um, getting the horses going well, uh, you know, to me, you don't want to change up too much if things are going pretty well. You just want to keep improving. So what are you expecting to see out of this team next week? I mean, I think this this national championship is anybody's ball game. I think we have as good of a shot as anybody. Um, we play into Auburn, who's a very strong team, but I think all of the eight teams that are going have the potential to win the national championship with SMU included. Well, thank you for your time, Coach, and good luck. Thank you.